I'm Peter, and welcome to another edition of F5 Dev Central's Lightboard Lessons. Approximately 43% of American workers have worked remotely at some point in their job, and 31% work remotely 80 to 100% of the time, like four to five days a week. I happen to be one of those field employees. But providing application access is a complicated process. You have distributed users around the globe. You have insecure clients and unknown devices requesting access to sensitive information. The notion of trusted and untrusted no longer applies. Everything is untrusted. So what's an administrator to do to protect the resources, but also provide simple and secure application access. Big IP Access Policy Manager, or APM, can protect and manage application access. Big IP APM is available in hardware, in the cloud, or as a virtual edition. So let's take a, take a look at some of the stuff that Big IP Access Policy Manager can do for you. So as I mentioned, we have, you know, distributed users all over the globe, accessing from various types of clients. These can be employees, they could be contractors, they could be partners, going through the big bad internet and hitting APM, this happens to be in the DMZ often. And then let's just give it a database right here for your applications. So first off, one of the things that Big IP Access Policy Manager does, and, and the name kind of already describes what it does, access policy, creating policies to provide access to users. And so the first things that it can do is provide identity federation, uh, single sign-on with things like multi-factor authentication or two-factor authentication, username, password, plus a token, or a push notification over to a mobile device, and also uh, supports things like SAML as an identity provider or a service provider. So, in this situation, Big IP Access Policy Manager will query your uh, you know, user store, user database to determine if you are who you say you are when you're authenticated, and if so, provides access to certain resources. It also, with that single uh, initial log on, providing single sign-on to multiple applications on the back end if necessary. I already uh, talked about the multi-factor, you know, two-factor authentication, a bit more secure. And then with uh, SAML, either as an IDP or a service provider, identity provider or service provider, in this instance, say you have uh, Office 365 over here out in the cloud, in that instance, uh, user would come in, prevented, presented with a logon page, APM would check the user store because they're requesting access to Office 365, and APM, through a SAML assertion, will vouch for that employee and send them over to the appropriate Office 365 resources, essentially telling 365, yes, this is a valid user, and allow them access uh, to those resources as an identity provider and, and other uh, cloud mechanisms out there, anybody who supports SAML. As a service provider with a SAML assertion, uh, the same can be said, so potentially going to another SAML provider and then vouching for it because the resources are back here um, protected by Access Policy Manager. You can also do things like SSL VPN, either web-based or client-based SSL VPN. So a layer three tunnel. In that instance, you would, there's certain resources on the back end. You can either through a client or uh, just through a, a web page, a web portal. User signs in with their credentials and then they actually get a connected, optimized, encrypted, 
tunnel to the back end resources. So network access to your internal network to gain access to resources. Um, if you don't want to provide a full layer three tunnel, you can do specific application access tunnels. So uh, an encrypted tunnel just directly to Outlook or to SharePoint or to some other, you know, financial app on the back end, not necessarily full blown layer three network access, but access to a specific application. If you don't want to offer them a full VPN, SSL VPN tunnel, uh, you can also do it through portal access. So web portals through a reverse proxy. So instead of these tunnels, they there get provided a web page. And once they authenticate to that web page, a set of resources come up for them and they're all portal based or, or web based access to resources. So no layer three tunnels, maybe that's more appropriate for contractors or partners, not giving them network access. Big IP Access Policy Manager can also provide access to VDI resources or uh, remote desktops, uh, RDP, remote desktops, and, and um, proxy your VDI, your VDI installment on the back end. And it doesn't matter if it's Citrix or VMware or Microsoft, we can handle all of those with our full proxy architecture. And remember, Big IP APM is on, is on the Big IP platform with a TMOS uh, base operating system and is a full proxy architecture. Now, how do you manage all this? How do you create and manage these policies to determine the level of access given who the people are, the type of devices that they're uh, requesting access from, and even you know potentially the networks that they're on, and, and additional criteria. And that's with what's called the uh, Visual Policy Editor, or the VPE. And it's quite simple. It's a graphical-based kind of step-by-step -step, uh, where you have just, you create a little flow chart, if you will, and start. That was pretty easy. And then we go things like log, log on, you know, they get the log on page once they enter the URL. Next is things like, you know, Active Directory authentication, and we can support Active Directory and Radius and LDAP and forms based and a number of other authentication mechanisms. I already actually mentioned uh, things like SAML and even um, Identity Federation federating the user to the back end systems to ensure proper access. So then once you get to the AD auth, you either have you know success or a uh, fail or fallback. And then based on the inspection and then the results of the inspection of each of these criteria that you set up, you either gain access or you don't gain access and it might not be not necessarily full access maybe there's some criteria that hasn't been met and you get limited so fallback might be limited like say for instance an employee coming from a uh, IT issued device from you know their home wireless network for instance would pass all of these um, all of these criteria and checks and they get yes and they get the full, you know, layer three tunnel to the network. There may be another instance where they're a known user, so we start mixing it up, a known user from an unknown device and a, you know, network out of the country, for instance, they'd still potentially gain access, but things like, you know, a network access tunnel might not be available in that situation. They would only gain access to things like uh, web portals. That also works with things like contractors. Nine to five, they get full access to the backend resources, but at 5.30, they authenticate and log in. So they're not denied access necessarily. They gain access, but the resources or things that they have access to uh, might be much limited or they might not have access to certain resources. Big IP Access Policy Manager, of course, can integrate with other uh, Big IP modules like Big IP Application or yeah, ASM Application Security Manager, the Web Application Firewall to provide a comprehensive security solution uh, for your 
applications on the back end. And it also integrates, you might have heard of Secure Web Gateway. Where can I put that? S W G. So Secure Web Gateway is kind of think about that like sort of as a forward proxy. And so being able to filter URLs and web-based malware with uh, internal users on the network going out to um, going out to internet resources from the inside of your network. So big IP access policy manager for your old schoolers, just a little bit of uh, trivia and history. APM access policy manager is, is actually uh, we we kind of developed that from the olden days. You might remember the Firepass SSL VPN back uh, back you know 2004 and then subsequent years. That APM kind of grew out of the Firepass SSL VPN back in the day. Just a little bit of trivia for you. So Big IP Access Policy Manager can help you manage and manage access, but also protect your applications for those users, employees, contractors, and partners that are remote and need to gain access to internal resources. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. I'm Peter, and we'll see you in the community. Thanks for watching.